So now we move to the product list, or let's say the the blocks containing the product image information price and these buttons. Then if I go back to the template, I think we have some some a lot of work to do here. So firstly, I need to go to the template, the product list .tpl and rearrange these blocks accordingly to what is presented or let's say how they are presented on the on the on the template. So let's go okay let's get rid of all this then again the template folder product list so this this is the the title of the image we are looking for the name okay there we are so this is the right block and this is normally the left block so if I change the position to the right block above the left block and let's see how things will look like if I refresh okay to so start a bit okay normally it's close to what we are looking for so the name is there then the price under it we have some effects some hover effect that we can get rid of this later and uh, what else we need to get the image right in place exactly it's right in place then this new um, we need to have it somewhere all right <clears throat> so let's display this new first and see where does it exist this is it actually I I will just cancel this to make it displayable you know to ignore that test and this is it so new we need to do some work for it okay and what is next so news there the price name the image then added to cart so one important thing also is you know to stop really the fight and the hassle with the default CSS we need to change some some, some CSS where inside the product list dot CSS as you see here we have um, a class that gets added to the ally so let's fix this and go to product list dot CSS and pretty much hide and remove all this block and all the blocks containing this hovered class okay then we need to force this block containing the added to cart and more to be displayed always so for that I will need to go to the line 241 again same page then um, I think this is not it so we have some display on of 2.11 and change this to block and maybe I give it an important attribute so let's refresh and see the results okay so far so good okay the other than name price image name name price and that the cut actually should be down so let's place this above the image again back to product list.css and I need to pick the class or the block containing these elements this is it so let's move all this block down the image image please class how it's nice how it's called so it's under the left block expand it and right at the end of it after the price okay let's give it a little command that we can understand things in case we we are back to update or something so let's call this um, buttons action or actions button anyway so you get the idea the important so as you see this is uh, uh, the, the command how we put command on, to, uh, on the smarty uh, the classic way was like this and you know this is HTML and it's acceptable here but uh, with the smarty uh, the command does not show in the source code this is the difference between uh, the classic prestige, uh, classic HTML and uh, the smarty way okay let's see after this change normally okay so buttons are down Mm, okay so far so good I guess and now 
we need to start playing around with code and padding and margins, you know, to get the look that's presented into the template. So first of all, this is the item. We have only um, the right block, right block, h5, a margin top of 20 pixel. I mean padding top maybe. Padding top. This is a stupid idea by the way using the padding because we need really to be careful here because this may cause problem on the responsive and uh, so what's going on here? H5, H5. Oh man, okay, we can we can just mm, it's written by another class. So look, why not? Let's bounce directly to the the link to the A. Okay, it's working. Then for the color for the font, actually I don't have the PhD, so uh, approximately this is okay. Let's pick Arial again. Found family Arial. Okay, it's by default, so we don't need it. And the font size, let's keep it as it is. And let's save this piece of code again. But this time, I will keep it inside the product list dot CSS. And again, another command added by me. Okay. Now the price. So this is a span with a class content. The span then font size. Let's see if we can change this somewhere else. Uh, so we have the font, it's 21. I hate actually these such type of uh, presentation, price, content and so on. Uh, price, price, so this is from the global.css and it may be used somewhere else. So I'm not messing around with this. I will change this my way, so content price. Let's copy this one, come back to this span, and you know, there's some idea. So you give it, give it font size of 1 em for instance, font wave, uh, let's say normal, okay, uh, font style, it's italic, I guess it's italic as in the design, the color, well maybe it's not italic, oops, where we go? Oh, there we are. And the color will be, uh, let's pick red for default, then use this beautiful tool offered by Chrome. Okay, it's not double clear, so maybe this one is good. Let's remove the italic, I don't like it. It doesn't seem. So for the font size, maybe one and a half. One and a half EM will be good, or even less a bit. Okay, and this one is good. Okay, let's save this property again. Keep working under the product dot, dot, product .css. So you may use it. Uh, you may place it here, but again, good practice to keep CSS the right, uh, let's say, all the right place, or you know. Okay, now the image, nothing to do, nothing big about it. Then. Uh, this new button, uh, I guess we need to create an image or get rid of an image as a background. Okay, so simply, okay, it's not an image, it's a background color. Good. And uh, let's get rid of this transform rotate into zero. Uh, transform degree zero. Come on, please. Ah, yeah. Should be rotate. I think I missed something here. Okay, let's change this to zero degree. Then, actually, it's a green. I don't have a color code. So let's pick this color red. This one. Okay. Background perfect. 